My dear people of Guam, this has been a long road and we are now at a critical point in our fight against COVID-19. This virus hears no cries, sees no tears, and is willing to consume every measure of air we breathe. Today, we are experiencing the devastating consequences this virus has shown us. Overwhelmed hospitals, strained nurses, exhausted doctors, isolated families, and too many precious lives lost and whose loved ones are left to grieve. As your governor, it is my duty to report to you that given the rise in positive cases and increase in hospitalizations, the state of our island is fragile. As your governor, it is my responsibility to lead and to set a new course in our response to this health crisis. Two weeks ago, I said every resource we have is working to contain COVID-19, to slow and stop its deadly spread, and that continues to be true. To stop the rise of COVID-19 cases, we executed five actions. One, deploying the rapid engagement team in subdivisions most vulnerable for COVID-19 spread. Two, working directly with FSM community leaders and have them involved in our outreach efforts. Three, increased our daily testing to an average of over 600 tests per day. Four, shifting our messaging to focus on spread within and between households, spread at workplaces, and please to avoid eating with people not in your household. And five, increase public awareness of increasing deaths and hospital census overflow. With these five actions, we have seen an overall downward trend for daily new cases over the past 13 days and test positivity rates for the past 19 days. However, both are still dangerously high. But in that same special address, I also said that you, the people of Guam, are the solution. Your choices, your commitment, and your tireless vigilance are the only way this will end. And this remains true as well. As your governor, I will continue to do whatever I can to end this pandemic, but I need your help. Several months ago, we introduced the COVID area risk score, also known as the CAR score. We utilized this score to determine the risk of travelers introducing the virus from their point of origin, and it was effective at calculating that risk. To aid in our response efforts, we have updated the CAR score to take into account our incidence of new cases, how well our testing is able to identify these cases, and the rate of spread. At the time of this recording, our CAR score is 9.8. This means that viral transmission within our community is high. Under normal circumstances, we would be using this time to prepare for Thanksgiving and Christmas, gathering with our friends and families. We can still celebrate these holidays. It's not impossible. If we achieve a CAR score of five or less for the next few weeks, then I will be inclined to lift additional social gathering restrictions. This is entirely possible if we all do our part, wearing our mask, practicing social distancing, being extra cautious around those not in our household, and staying home as much as possible. But a CAR score of five does not mean we are out of the woods just yet. To fully suppress COVID, we will need to be below a score of 2.5, like we were for a majority of summer. We all want to go back to normal, but we must be able to demonstrate with concrete actions that we are responsible, we are accountable, we are willing to contribute to this fight. If we achieve this goal as soon as possible and sustain it through Thanksgiving, then we can experience some semblance of normalcy during the Christmas season and beyond. I am calling on each of you to strive for five, 
to maintain a CAR score of 5 or under for the next few weeks. We do this by wearing our mask, watching our distance, washing our hands, and having the will to do it. My dear people of Guam, we all have a role to play in fighting COVID-19, and our vigilance cannot waver. We have overcome every adversity we have been faced with, and this pandemic should be no different. We can get through this together.